Welcome back guys to my channel. My today's video, I gonna show you how to use the water sensor using the Arduino Uno module. Before we start guys, these are the materials that we needed. First, we have a three light emitting diode display for uh, visual monitoring. We have a water sensor and the buzzer for the sound monitoring. Then, we need a 10 centimeter male to male jumper wires. We have 20 centimeter male to female jumper wires. And the Arduino Uno module and the Arduino Uno connector. Then let's start to build our circuit. First guys, we set up the LED. Okay, then be sure that the all the negative of the LED is connected to the ground. Then we connect the uh, ground pin of Arduino to the uh, breadboard ground. Then let's connect the light emitting diode. The first light emitting diode, the positive connected to the pin number 2. And then the positive of the second LED in pin number 3. And the last LED, the third LED, the positive connected to the pin number 4. Okay, then next is we connect the buzzer. We have positive and negative. The positive of the buzzers connected to pin number 5. And then the negative of the buzzer connected to the negative in the breadboard. Okay, then next after the buzzer, we connect the water level sensor. Okay, then water level sensor. Then as you can see, we have S for signal, positive, and negative. We use the green color to represent the S value. Then we have red color jumper wires to represent positive. Then the negative for the black colors. Then after guys, the, the three mail pin connected to the Arduino. Okay, then the green color go to pin A0. Then the black color connected to the ground. Ground pin. Okay, then the red color go to positive 5 volts. Okay, then after we connect all the wires in our Arduino Uno and breadboard, we connect the Arduino Uno connector. Then this will be connected to the laptop or computer after we connect the arduino connector to our laptop or in our computer let's check first if the connector is properly connected by right clicking my computer go to manage then device manager and look the arduino uno communication port after that now we can open the Arduino Uno integrated development to create program to in our water sensor. Then this is the program I created. Then first I declare the analog pin A sub 0 as a constant. 
Okay, this is the signal came from water sensor. Then, sensor value start at zero. Then, inside the void setup, okay, I declare or the digital output pin 2, 3, 4, 5 as an output. Then, I put serial that begin 9600 for serial monitoring. Then, inside the void loop, we have a sensor value, serial print sensors print to this this uh, program display the serial monitoring then we have if else if else if else condition to control the water level sensor then first sensor value is greater equal to 100 and sensor value is less than 600 then since i use logical and uh, these two value condition is equal to true digital write pin number two set as high or the le green led will turn on then delay of 100 else if sensor value is greater than equal to 601 and sensor value is less than equal 625 if this two value is true then digital write pin number three set as high or the led orange will turn on then else if sensor value is greater than equal to 625 and sensor value is less than equal to 700 then digital write pin number 4 and pin number 5 set as high or the led red and the buzzer will turn on then if the value is low uh, less than 100 digital write pin number 2 3 4 5 will set low low and delay of 100 it means all the LED will turn on and the buzzer will turn on then let's check first if the program has no error by verifying the program Okay, then the program has no er er error, then we can now upload the program in Arduino Uno module. Okay, then uploading done. Let's open first the serial monitor to check. Okay, then sensor start at zero value. Then let's check if this water sensor level responds to the program. Okay, see that green color LED will turn on. Okay, then next is the orange. And lastly, the color red. Okay. That's it, guys. If you think you learned to this project, don't forget to like subscribe and don't forget to push the notification button for updates thanks for watching